Hi, my name is Jensen Parker, and I'm a freshman communication disorders major at the University of Arkansas. The name of the art I am discussing is Belongings by Beth Lippman. The artwork is a part of the Crafting America exhibition and is located at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. Beth Lippman, an artist based in Wisconsin, is well known for using glass as the main media in her works. She was invited to Crystal Bridges to create this piece. She chose to respond to a set of 18th century paintings in its collection attributed to the artist Gerardus Doinkink I. In these paintings, there are three generations of a prominent German-Jewish family in New York City, Abigail Levy Franks, her husband Jacob Franks, four of the couple's nine children, and Abigail's father, Moses Raphael Levy. The piece that Lippmann created is an attribute to Abigail Levy Franks' life. It is displayed as a suitcase containing all of her belongings that she would have taken with her on her family's immigration journey. As it is made of glass, onlookers can see firsthand the specific objects placed inside, such as cacopods, domestic textiles, religious artifacts, assorted vessels, and chains. These objects were all chosen for a specific purpose throughout the different experiences that Abigail Levy Franks encountered in her life. In the portraits themselves, the family is wearing fine clothing and shows that they are very wealthy. There is also a ship in the background of her father's portrait that signals his success as a merchant. Key details like these help Lippmann to create the most accurate possessions to put in Abigail's suitcase. In this specific work of art, there are mostly regular lines, such as vertical, horizontal, curved, and diagonal, that make up the shape of the three-dimensional suitcase. The artist achieves the stimulated texture of wood on the suitcase in rhythm through the repetition of lines carved into the sculpture. The closed shape of the suitcase gives off the idea that there is a lesser sense of movement within this work. The shape of the work as an actual suitcase evokes the association with travel and shows scale and proportion. Space is found in the work of art through the artist using perspective techniques to give off a realistic impression of depth in its three-dimensional shape. Color is shown through the blue and white hues coming off the glass. This gives off the sense of coolness to the work and perhaps makes it seem a little sadder. There even appears to be some type of light shining through the glass as well. The artist shows unity within the objects inside the trunk that are made of glass and tied together with the objects that would have been placed in the trunk if it was real. Littman does not present a wide variety as all of the objects are made from the same material and look the exact same. The mass and volume of this glass sculpture is presumably very heavy. The suitcase is an example of symmetry and achieves the principle of balance. A mythology that can be used to describe and analyze this chosen work is Marxism. According to a history of Western art, Marxism is used by Marxist art historians who study the relationship of art to economic factors within its social context, such as cost and availability of materials. They analyze patronage in relation to political and economic systems. There are several messages that can be examined about the social class of the owner of the suitcase that the artist is trying to convey. When looking at the work, there are objects present that signify that the family of the woman the suitcase belongs to is very wealthy. As I said earlier, one of the objects found in the suitcase included religious artifacts that would have been very precious during this time period and worth a lot of money. The fact that the family's Jewish would also make these artifacts even more valuable. When comparing the piece with the portraits it is associated with, you can also see the family's wealth. I believe that this work of art generates from the conceptualism genre. According to a history of Western art, conceptualism was used by artists in the 1960s who wanted to extend minimalism so that even the materials of art would be eliminated. According to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, artist Beth Lippmann, one of the most compelling conceptual artists working in glass in America today, explores that Victorian notion of a moral decor as a way to critique our contemporary love of loot. She employs that historic lens to investigate our longings for belongings. Littman's works are something contemporary culture, with its interior design, magazines, and footy fetishes, has in common with the 17th century Europe that offered up so many of those painted still lives. I chose this piece because of the story behind it. I believe that artwork is the best way to tell stories, and this one fascinated me the most. It tells a story of great strength and hope, as Abigail and her family had to overcome many hardships with their Jewish heritage, yet kept the hope that they will be able to live in a new world of freedom away from the struggles of their past.